What's that dug up earth in there? Do you know? Can you go see it? Look. Let's go and look. It's pretty deep. Look. And that's hard. What is it? It's like fabric. Hmm. New fabric. Hmm. Do you want to go get some shovels and then uh, check it out? Yeah, okay. Right, cool, let's go. It's cool if you found something good. Yeah, like treasure or something. <laughs> More like to find a rusty bicycle. Yeah. Uh, let's get, let's get going. Going. You know this bag? Yeah. That was the one that guy had, don't you remember? Oh, the guy this morning. The guy with the shovel. This what he must have been burying. Yeah, I wonder what's in it. Uh -oh. It's quite hard, but it's like soft. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let's get it open. What? He must have been in here like since this morning, underground. Well, he's not dead. Hey, Rick, you okay? <coughs> he probably doesn't know what's what. No. Good evening. This is the news at six, and I am Bob Nicholstone reporting. Tonight's top story, the tragic tale of a young missing boy, but first, the weather with John. Now I'm here in Kent on this rather dull day really, and there have been some uh, mild showers throughout the day, and, um, it, but it should pick up for a fine sunset, and which I'm sure you'll all enjoy throughout the country. But following on through the week, there should be some random outbursts of horizontal rain. Good night. Now to the story of the missing boy. It has been 24 hours since the abduction of the 13-year-old schoolboy, Brian Higginbottom, in Sardis, Mr. Here is the latest photograph we could get. Please call your local authorities if you have heard or seen anything. And now, please turn over to the election special for the latest news and updates. Good thing he's made for recovery, eh? Yeah. Off my room, changing now. Oi, I'll get it. Hello, boys. Where's Brian? <laughs> 